everyone welcome to my first move-in vlog i'm actually filming this little intro like weeks after i filmed the rest of the video but i wanted to film this intro just to kind of explain some things real quick i just feel like i have to have <laughs> my cup of coffee in a cute mug when i'm sitting down and talking it's just important for the aesthetic Anyway, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I'm Layton. And if you're new here, that makes me excited, but also what I'm about to say might not really make sense to you. So I just wanted to say a few things for the few kind people that were supporting me and watching my videos. So I started my YouTube channel like a little less than a year ago, and it was good, a fun, creative outlet. And then like, was it four or five months ago? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Time is already running together so much. But months ago, I stopped making videos. So I just wanted to give a quick explanation of that for those of you who were being supportive. So yeah, I was living at home because I graduated college and moved back home. I started working my first like real job and just a lot of things from being totally unhappy in my job from looking for a place to live for six months and feeling like I was stuck at home. I was just very, I would say situationally depressed at times. And I know that's like a heavy word, but situationally at times I truly did feel that way. I felt very uncreative and YouTube became this thing that I felt like I had to do. And it was really stressing me out. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. And then in a lot of my videos, I was talking about my job, which I realized was not for me at all. And that was making me very unhappy. And I was trying to figure out how to navigate all that. And then trying to figure out where I felt like I was called because I knew God was calling me to something else. And I didn't know what that was. Just crazy stuff. So I stopped. I stepped back. And I was like, I just need to chill for a minute. And I really just took some time to kind of keep within myself and spend time with God and really seek Him and seek what He wanted for me, what His will was for me, what His purpose was, what His next assignment was for me. Because I felt that stirring, like things were about to shift, things needed to shift, but it hadn't been revealed yet, so I was just you know I just needed that time and then after I ended up quitting that job and I had this kind of space after I quit and then before I got my next job and before I started my next job so I really had a lot of time just to rest and seek God and spend time with him and read and learn and I am so thankful for that looking back that was such a necessary purposeful little season in my life I truly feel like God taught me so much I feel like I changed in a lot of ways um, and I'll always be changing in a lot of ways but I was just very content with a, like a simple life I was like I don't even know if I want to go back to YouTube anymore like maybe I should just leave that rest and you know just let that be a learning experience um, a fun thing and it's time but maybe I just need to look you know leave that rest and so i just was really praying about it and i was like god just tell me if you want me to go back to doing that i don't know how i feel about it i don't know if i want if i even want to but you know if that is something you want of me and if that is in your will and if that is part of your plan for me i'm all about it but i just i really don't know so i was just praying um asking him to make it clear to me if i should you know get back into it <laughs> or not and the rest of the story is for another day because it'll be way too long but to put it simply he answered that prayer in a very clear direct amazing way so here i am <laughs> and I, I did miss it like once i started working i moved and i just felt like a whole new person and i was feeling creative again and i was like oh i miss making videos i do but i feel different i feel like things have kind of shifted in a different direction i just want to make relaxed vlog lifestyle videos for fun and just you know have fun with it so I'm back and I decided what better way than to make a move-in vlog because I personally love watching those they're so satisfying to watch to me so maybe you'll be interested in this as well I hope you enjoy 
and thanks for sticking around for that rambly little intro and I hope you enjoy. Here is the chaotic before. The windows, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> I tried to get them like similar all the way across. What do you mean? The blinds. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that, but yeah, that looks good. <laughs> what are those stickers on there? I don't know, somebody before. You probably can get one. <laughs> you can probably get one of those razor things. And get City view. <laughs> looks very crazy right now, but it's going Shoot. to look amazing eventually. Mothers. <laughs> Doing what? Oh, cleaning, because they, did, they didn't have time to clean. Ooh. Yeah, not real granite, but it looks really good. I keep hitting set clock whenever I lean over there, so I'm just going to wait till it. <laughs> Nothing like your first day of orientation and moving day on the same day. I just got back and walked into this. My sweet parents were there to help. <laughs> but I'm a little overwhelmed. And the bed is going to come together. A little overwhelmed, don't know where to begin. I'm going to start with cleaning the kitchen counters because they were running behind a little bit. Trying to get all the renovations done in time so they didn't have time for cleaners to come in first. So. I love spraying that stuff. Wait, I thought this might be a good place for this big mirror. Ooh, you're mirror. right. Because I was thinking I want a mirror somewhere in that area so that it will open up the space. Yeah. At this point, I'm just grabbing random boxes and unpacking them. There's no way I'm going to unpack all of them today, obviously, but I just got to gotta start somewhere. My millions of mugs. I have an obsession. The most important thing. Where's the coffee station going to be? The most important question? I'm thinking... Here. Yeah. Alright, update. It is currently Thursday. I just got back from my third day of orientation. So, the last time I vlogged was like two days ago. I was just way too tired and was not making much progress on things. So, nothing much to show. But I will go ahead and give a little update because I kind of got some things arranged like in the living room. So, let me show you. This is what we got going on so far. We decided to put this pretty rug over here for like the little reading area. I'm excited about this spot. So this is gonna be like the little reading nook. Not really nook, but reading spot. In a second, I'll finish explaining what I was explaining. I can't even remember what. Anyway, I was saying, I'll finish explaining and giving you a little tour. In a second, I just got back. It's Friday, I got back from my second to last day of like the basic orientation. And it's so gloomy outside, it's raining. And even though it's Friday, I literally wanna 
take a shower and get in bed and go to sleep at like 7 p.m. because my brain the whole second half of today just like stopped working I literally like could not think straight it's just foggy in there also right here on this wall I ordered this really pretty gold um, tall skinny little bookshelf because I thought that would be a good little divider of the two spaces of like the little reading area and living area so I'm excited to put that together I honestly don't even want to show y'all my bathroom and room right now because it's a mess but I might as well for before and after purposes oh. yeah this is the lovely mess we got going on right now beach towel for a rug I'm gonna put this mirror right here just to kind of open up the space I love mirrors to make it look bigger this is the washer and dryer which is not here yet so that is awesome because I need to wash my clothes so hopefully that comes in soon lovely mess we got going on here I really am obsessed with these windows though I really like the view from my room they're huge that's all we got going on so far oh my gosh it's been so hard to find things to wear because they're all like in random places and random suitcases I need to literally throw away half of the clothes that are in all those drawers because they were in storage for like six months literally because I just kept most of my clothes that I wasn't gonna really need in those drawers and then they were in storage for like six months and then I learned to live without them and I just got used to what I currently had to where now I'm like I don't want any of that that's even in there anymore I want to become way more minimal so I'm literally going to get rid of everything that's in there give it away and then reorganize everything with my clothes that are in the suitcases so if you like organizing videos check out the vlogs to come that's my favorite building right there. I just love the little artwork on there. <laughs> so cute. My mom and sister are coming over tomorrow morning and they're gonna help me make a lot of progress hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, that's a little update for now. I will probably talk to you tomorrow. Remember when I said I wasn't doing anything and then I was just gonna go to sleep? Yeah, well, that changed. I got convinced to go hang out in one of my friend's apartments. She lives downtown, so it's not far. And I was like, why not? I would literally just be <laughs> probably getting in bed and watching TV by myself. Especially because Nick's out of town. Usually I'd probably hang out with him. But I'm wearing this bodysuit. I've worn it in vlogs before. But I can't decide on my shoes. I wanted to wear these sneakers to be comfortable but I feel like they look kind of weird with the outfit like these would obviously look way better but I'm just not feeling that I literally don't even think I'm gonna be there for very long so what's the point you know all right I have to go with the heels because I just I can't with the tennis shoes it just doesn't look right does anyone else have to unbutton their jeans every time they bend down, like before they leave? Because, like, good materials of denim, you know, they don't stretch. When they stretch, they sag. So. Oh my gosh, that looks like a thousand times better. Much better. It's Friday at 10 10 just walked down the street to Starbucks I've gone to Starbucks every single day this week because I haven't gotten any groceries or anything yet so I've just been putting in my order on the app and walking over and grabbing it and it's so convenient but I need to stop soon because they're taking my money I got um, this is good I can maybe use like a stevia just because I could do it a little sweeter but this is a grande cappuccino with an extra shot of espresso and two pumps of the cinnamon dolce flavor added it's very good 
This is gonna be me every morning. Also, I need to show you all the rooftop view. It's amazing, so beautiful. You can see like the whole river. not go all the way in they just simply did not fit so this is not very sturdy thanks Walmart but it does look good like it kind of divides the two spaces taking a break for some food looks so good. Oh, hot. <laughs> it's five o'clock. My mom and sister just left and we got a lot done. I feel like I made a lot of progress, so that feels good. But now I just have a bunch of organizing to do. Let me show y'all the progress that we made. And then I'm literally just, I'm going to stay in tonight and just organize all my clothes, my closet, figure out how I need to get my bathroom organized, just all that stuff because I can't, like my, it hurts my soul. <laughs> There's still like random boxes and stuff in places, but earlier today there were boxes all right here filled those are all gone and unpacked you can see more of the floor i need to get some bar stools for right there as well i just kind of threw some stuff on there actually like that lamp for right here so i'll probably keep that for now it's still crazy over here i just decided to go with that right there and that needs to be shifted don't know what that's just sitting there for now <laughs> and then i love how this little bookshelf turned out Okay, I guess I have to back up back here so you can see. So far, I just randomly placed things on there as I was unpacking. You can't really see because it's dark, but um, I actually really like the way it looks. My whole um, goal with the bookshelf was to kind of like use it to divide these two spaces. Oh, the TV stand. My mom did so good. I'm so proud. She worked on this all day. She literally like did this by herself for six hours. Um, I'm gonna have my dad or Nick, whoever, um, tighten the screws though, because um, tighten the screws like with a drill, because, oh, I shouldn't have done that. The drawers aren't very tight, so it's kind of weird right now. I'm gonna put that painting on this wall, I think. So, it's just a good size. Stuff still looking crazy, but I got a microwave now. My sister had one for me, so that worked out. And got everything unpacked, all the kitchen stuff, so that feels good. Also, look at these mugs that I got. I'm obsessed, I kind of have a problem. I collect endless mugs. I need to stop, but they just make me so happy. Still need to organize the pantry. Looking better, looking more homey with all the little details and then I'm just gonna put this nightstand that's messed up from water <laughs> but this nightstand that I used in college I'm just gonna put it right here for like a little entryway type of thing this is what I'm about to tackle I just need to literally reorganize all of my clothes look at this view though I love the windows in here they're huge, especially that one. That's my favorite view. He's faithful even when we're not. Hello, how are you? 
happy Sunday. My mom is on the way to help me finish up with a few things and we're gonna go um, grocery shopping and then go to Target. So that'll be fun to show y'all what I get and what I'm gonna do with it. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I never showed y'all the aftermath of me organizing my clothes. So last night I kind of showed y'all that I was about to start organizing my clothes. Yeah, I did that for like literally five hours. Hold on, I do not like the way this is looking. Let's bring some pieces down. Things have come a long way and I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, so y'all remember there were clothes all over my bed. Here we go, so over here we have I feel so much better now that I have a stocked fridge. Like it officially feels like a home now. So just got some salmon, ground turkey, this little home chef meal, eggs, hummus, Greek yogurt for my smoothies, some white cloth so I'm stocked up for when I need them. Spinach, apples, some peppers for dinner, broccoli, carrots, this sauce for dinner, just some jelly or jam, all the condiments. I gotta have my sauces. I love condiments. So these are like the essentials that I'm starting with. Um, butter, of course some wine. I got this because it looked really pretty and it was pretty cheap. Orange juice, this creamer, which I'm very excited to try. Um, it says it's new, I've never seen it before, but brown sugar, Natural Bliss Oat Milk Creamer, and I think it's gonna be really good. Why am I out of breath? Almond milk and this cold brew, and there's my probiotics. <laughs> then we got some things in the freezer, just some frozen berries for my smoothie, some frozen brown rice and the frozen pizza, and these chopped onions for cooking because I hate cutting onions. It makes my eyes water uncontrollably. <laughs> okay, and then in the pantry, some of the stuff back there I already had, like basic cooking ingredients, um, but most of the stuff I just bought, so got coffee, the essential, some cereal, breakfast bars. Got some more vanilla protein powder because I was almost out of that. That was from before. <laughs> and then some bedtime tea, some cashews because I have an obsession and I can't stop eating them. Some quinoa pasta for dinner. Peanut butter, bread, pretzels. Really, that's about it. Okay, so some kitchen stuff I got is this little um, glass holder for olive oil. These details really make such a difference, so I'm excited for that. Some counter cleaner, very exciting. <laughs> Just this drying mat for when I hand wash things. Little scrubber and some sponges, paper towels, napkins, um, an ice tray. Got this blender. Can't wait to use this. I used like a magic bullet for the longest time, but it, they were so small I couldn't fit like any of my stuff in there. Like I just wanna be able to load in the spinach, the fruits, so excited to try this. Then a Brita, cause I don't have a water filter. So gonna set this up in a second. Oh, I also got this little tray to put my ice in so I can stock up on the ice. Okay, so then for my bedroom, I got this little pillow. I thought it was the cutest thing. It's like this linen-y material with these little like maroonish flowers. I love this uh, color and then the green. I think it's so pretty. It's just perfect for what I was wanting. I think it matches the whole 
vibe that I'm going for. Um, then I also got a matching lamp because I really want them to be um, identical on both sides. But they didn't have the right lampshade, so I might have to order the exact same one so that they can be matching. Got this little candle. I usually don't use Target candles because they're not always the best, but I really just had to get something to start because I'm obsessed with candles and they make the space homey. So this is Tea Tree and Spearmint. It also has rosemary and spearmint, or I mean peppermint. And it smells just really good and fresh. All right, and then for the bathroom. My bathroom is the least put together thing so far in the whole apartment. Got this little guy because there's not too much space in the bathroom. I mean, in the bath or shower, or whatever, to store your stuff. So I got this adorable little toothbrush holder. It is so cute. And then I got the matching soap holder. So that's going to look really good. And it matches um, like the coloring and the theme for my bathroom. Got these little command hooks because... I want to put one right here to hang a hand towel and then um, I'm going to put one right here to hang my bath towel because I'm weird and I don't actually like to hang it on here. I just like to hang like decorative pretty towels on here so it looks nice and then like not actually use them. So I'm going to do that eventually. Not tonight because it's already like... 10 o'clock. The second I get one thing done, there's like a million other things to do. Moving in is a process, let me tell you. Oh, I also switched um, the mirrors. Earlier I showed this mirror in like the hallway, but I thought it would really look good right here in my room just cause that wall space right there was like the perfect spot for a tall mirror and I really like it in my room. So I'm gonna keep it there and then in this hallway, I'm going to put this mirror. So I'm just going to hang this up. All right, I will go ahead and show you my organized drawers now. It's like three days later. I had work in 12-hour shifts, and I just forgot to finish the vlog. So I'll go ahead and show y'all. You saw there were clothes everywhere. It was crazy. So, oh. Look at this, beautiful. These are my pajamas. I tried folding like this for the first time. I think it looks really good, but we'll see how long it lasts because I have a feeling I'm gonna get lazy and just like quickly throw things in there. Okay, that looks more organized. I already got a little crazy, just socks and underwear. Bras. And my scrubs. Then over here we have all my athletic gear. Let's hope it stays this neat. All my t-shirts. I like folding like this because you can see everything. You don't have to like keep picking things up to look and see what's underneath. So I do like that. And then just comfy shorts. And all my denim. <laughs> So that was really satisfying. I know it doesn't look like that much, but it took me like five hours. <laughs> the closet is not complete, but we still made a lot of progress. At least it's like functional. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close off the vlog here because I could keep going. Like the bathroom's not done. There's a lot of other like last minute things I'm gonna do throughout time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and then I'll include other stuff in future vlogs. Look at my little lamp without a lampshade. So sad but i hope you guys enjoyed this little move-in vlog i know for me they're so satisfying to watch be on the lookout for more because i think i'm about to start another one because i just went to home goods so be on the lookout for that thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye